Hey, today we're going to be making Brooke the Bunny, which is really simple, really fast, and you're going to need all the materials down in the description if you want to make her with me. Let's get started. All right, to get started, you're going to need a body made in light pink. I used blush pink for nap blanket yarn. You can use whatever color you wish. If you'd like to make Brooke's brother creek, you can use a blue, but now we need to start with the ears. The ears are made in two pieces. I'm using white for the inside ears. You need to have a long tail for sewing. And then chain three. Now you need to double crochet three in this third chain. Sometimes hard to get that first bit. There we go. There's one, two, and three. Now chain two and turn. Double crochet in each stitch. One, two, three. Oops. And then another one in the top of this chain two for four stitches. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, four. Chain one and turn. Do it again, single crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, four. Oops. Chain two, turn, and double crochet two together. If you don't know this stitch, I'll link a tutorial here. Put your two, Me, and then step yarn over and pulling through two again, you yarn over and go to the next stitch. And yarn over and pull through all the loops. And you do this twice. But it effectively goes from four stitches to two stitches. Now chain one and turn. Single crochet two together. Chain one, leave a long tail, snap it off. Pull it through, thread the chain tail, or sorry, thread your last tail. Ugh, what you just uh, fastened off on, good grief. And weave it in. Weave it in. I need to do that again. Now for the outer ears, you're gonna need your pink or whatever you're using for the body color, long tail, clip knot. All right, we're gonna chain four. And then double crochet increase or two double crochet in that third chain from your hook. One, two. Now, three double crochet in this last chain. One, two, three. Chain two and turn. Now double crochet in each stitch across. Two, three, four, five. And now also in the top of this chain two to give you a total of six stitches. Now chain two and turn. Now for the next three rows, 
rows three, four, and five. You're gonna double crochet in each stitch across, chain two, and turn. Okay, now for row six, you need to do a double crochet two together, or a double crochet decrease, just like I showed you earlier. Double crochet in each of the next two stitches. One, two, and then another double crochet, two together. All right, chain two, turn, row seven. We're gonna work two double crochet decreases. Right, chain two, turn, and then another double crochet decrease. Same procedure as the inner ear. Chain one, snap it off, pull it through, thread it with a yarn needle, or thread a yarn needle with the end. And weave it in. Okay, now cut it off. And I know that little bit of fluff is probably bothering some people's OCD, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Haha. Uh -huh. Kidding, it bothers me too. Alright. Now we need that inner ear from earlier. I'm gonna take the other end on that inner ear, thread our needle with it, and we're gonna sew the inner ear to the outer ear like that. So just a quick grab a couple threads, grab a couple threads, whip stitch, or you can go back down through, grab a couple threads, go back up, however you prefer, just secure them together. And then we'll move, and then make, make sure to put your other two pieces together and then we'll move on to putting everything together. Also going to need a pom-pom. This is about an inch and a quarter. I made it on my phone, literally. Wrapped it around my phone. You can make a pom-pom however you like, or you can just buy one and glue it on. It doesn't really matter. Personal preference. But now you need to grab your upper body and your 12 millimeter safety eyes. Put them six rows, six rounds down, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Stick it in. Count over six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You want to confirm that. Yeah, that's correct. All right. And then put on your washers. This is going to be tough depending on which brand you're using. I got some no-name brand off Amazon for cheap, and it lasted me a good long while because I bought like a hundred pairs at a time. And while I make a lot of amigurumi, not that many, at least not all with the same size eyes. All right, and there's her eyes done. Now you need a strand, a darker pink, or I suppose blue if you're making creek or whatever color you use for the body. It just needs to be a little darker. You could also use black or white. I just, I'm not, no guarantees on how it'll look. And then do that. Now start one round down. Go one stitch in. Like that. See? Pull it most of the way through. Now go two rows down. Two rounds down. Two stitches in. Then go back up to one stitch down, or one row down, one stitch over. Go back down to that same spot. And 
I'm gonna go one row down, one round down, come back up to that center point again, complete the Y, so to say. And that's all your embroidery done. You can fasten off these strands on the inside, but unless you're giving it to a little kid, you don't really need to worry about it. But often in Meg Rumi are for little kids, so I would suggest you do it just in case. And now we can just sew on her ears. So grab your completed ears. If you haven't done that yet, go do it. And then thread your needle with that le le the last strand left. Should only have one if you follow my instructions. All right. Oops. Sorry. Now this is the tougher bit. You gotta fold her flat along a center line. And then I would go forward. And then you go two in, two, oh, it's a little bright, there we go. Two rows in, go about four total. This is your center point for your ear. Now you're just going to whip stitch this ear on. really gonna go almost all the way in. All right, I'll bring it through to the inside. And since we only have one strand, I'm gonna make this a little harder. Rinse that out. And now under a couple strands. Do it again. This time, oh, ends a little bit long there. But now, twist it around and pull through. See, and that usually holds it quite well. I don't think I've ever had an Amiga Room where that bit came undone. It's one ear on. Now let's do the other one. I'll just skip this because you've already seen it. And then we're gonna put on her tail. Okay, now hopefully you left longer tails in your pom pom than I did. Or if you're hot gluing this, because hot gluing works really well for burnout blanket yarn because it partially melts the yarn. Really, a really strong bond, and you're not gonna get that to come off easily. So just do that. Now, I'm going to find a center line. Um, I have a point of that center line. I'm going to pull one strand through, the other strand through. Now tie a square knot on this side. That should hold down pretty dang good. Sorry, my fingers are kind of in the way. I assume everybody knows how to tie a square knot. If you don't look it up, it's super simple. Something everybody should know. I don't know what this color this coloration is. I'll try to wash it off. Alright, and now we're going to sew on the bottom piece. So just grab your needle and your bottom piece. Thread it. And make sure all of your strands except your other end, because we're gonna use to secure it afterwards. Put on the inside. And that's just the, there we go. Magic ring. Oh goodness. Sometimes the leave is a little too long, it's a bit of a mess. All right, now you're just gonna whip stitch this together. Then when you get to the last bit here, stuff it, go all the way. Tie these ends together 
and then thread them all the way through your make roomy and then i'll meet you back here if we're done Alrighty, and brooke is finished if you enjoyed watching this video tutorial please hit like subscribe if you haven't and i will see you next time bye